In light of the deadly school shooting in Florida, student safety is gaining more and more attention. Locally, we've seen a string of threats and lockdowns. 10 News reporter Allison Wickline spoke with a criminologist today to see how serious these threats are being taken and how that's affecting law enforcement. She joins us now live. Allison. More than 9,000 threats were handled at schools across the Commonwealth last year. Now, with this shooting in the spotlight, more threats are highlighting a scary trend. Threats of violence at schools across the country, including here in our backyard. From Allegheny to Henry County and areas in between, law enforcement and school officials have been on alert more than usual. Anytime you have some type of mass disaster, people tend to copycat that. And now another trend. Overall, the number of threats at schools in Virginia is increasing. According to the Department of Criminal Justice Services, in 2016, 63% of schools had to conduct threat assessments. In 2017, that number jumped to 66%. Dr. Burke says the patterns are alarming, especially for law enforcement. All threats are treated seriously, so it is a drain really on, when it's a threat, uh, manpower and resources for law enforcement. Each time a threat is called in or written on a wall or posted on social media, officers hit the ground running. They're checking for weapons, they're checking for s at social media, so they're checking posts. They need to interview not only that individual, but often the parents, friends, acquaintances. In today's society, ignoring or brushing off a threat of any kind is not an option. No matter how much time and effort it takes to track the threat down, credible or not. Dr. Burke says most of these copycat threats are not credible. This is no joke. When you're doing something like this and people are treating it as a real threat, it's affecting everyone. As we've seen, a threat that started as a joke or distraction can lead to school suspension or, in many cases, time behind bars. Rumors of a threat at Radford City Schools have been swirling. Now, we spoke with the superintendent today. He says after days of investigating, no credible threat has been found. Live in Roanoke, Allison Wickline, 10 News, working for you.